Hey guys, I just wanted to let you know that I will be streaming um, around about 6 p.m. British time, which is around about five and a half hours from now. Um, I'll probably be streaming for around about six till eight, maybe a little bit later or earlier. I don't know exactly yet, but please make sure if you can to be there. Watch out. You might not get a notification. I know that some of you haven't been getting notifications recently. So if you don't get a notification, please just, just search my name up on YouTube or look at your subscribed and see if I am live streaming. Um, because I know that happens to a lot of people when they miss live streams just because they didn't get notifications. So please, if you guys do want to watch it, please, I really hope you do. Um, I'll see you in the live stream, but today we're just going to do a little bit of Clash Royale until then. Um, we're just going to go into one battle properly with this deck here. Um, I know that some, most of you who watch don't bother uh, watching my Clash Royale videos, which is why I don't do Clash Royale as much. But please comment if you do like Clash Royale, so that I know that I can do it maybe once every week or something, just as like a little bit, a little bit of a special maybe, um, just to mix it up a little bit, you know. So, but this isn't what the main video for today is, so don't worry about it being so short, guys. Um. I uh, may as well just commentary on it. So the bandit's gonna go for Lumberjack here. Uh, Fire Spirit's gonna try to take out. Uh, okay, that's fine. Go with an Ice Golem here to deter the bandit. And hopefully we should be able to do it with Lumberjack too. I accidentally put Ice Golem a little bit too high up there. But we can now go with Ryanware as the sports. Um, I do love this deck. I don't have time. Most of my legendaries are level 9. But I still love this deck nonetheless. Um, the Ram Bar is so good that it doesn't matter that she's level 9, look, she's still going to get a huge amount of hits off in that tower. Um, we could have sniped it with Magic Archer, but he would die to two shots from the Executioner, so it wasn't really worth it. Bandit, because she'll be invincible, so the Executioner won't be able to do any damage to her whatsoever. I think he's going to go Bats here and something else, no, Eljack again. So we can just take Eljack out pretty easily with this Barbar here. Yeah, there we go, uh, Eljack's dead, and I think we're pretty much at Elixir advantage now. Um, yeah, I was going to drop off an Ice Golem in the back here. We are at an Elixir of Advantage. Okay, so he's going to go with his uh, Golem, which I didn't make the connection that he had, just because he had bats in his deck, and that's very unusual for a Golem deck. Here we go, I drag, easily take it out. We can go with the Snowball as well, take the bats away. He's going to zap there, um, but look here, we're going to get a good amount of damage. Almost going to take out the Golem. Yep, Golem's going to die here. Unfortunately, Magic Archer's placed so that it will take a little bit of damage later on here. But that's okay. We can go with an Ice Golem here to tank for the um, Inferno Dragon. We've also got Eljack. Execution actually does take out Inferno Dragon. We're going to go with Predictive Snowball here. Don't tend, don't, doesn't look like we catch anything, but Ramire will take out the tower, so that's brilliant for us here. Uh, we don't have anything for this, so we have to go Bandit, which I don't want to do. Yeah, I did not want to do that at all, because look. Amount of value value that he got there. That's really bad. Oh my word. We cannot defend it. He has fireball, so he can just cycle back for fireball. But I'm gonna make him defend it. I'm go with an Eljack uh Ram Rider push here. Rush him because he just used a golem, so it's like a like a punish card basically. Um right, yeah, but see that's gonna be a great amount of damage. Oh yeah, look at the magic archer sniping everything, guys. That's so cool. Awesome. We go with an ice golem. And he still, he still does have to use some elixir as well, which is brilliant. Um, we can go with the uh, magic archer here. Hopefully we can take out the... No, we don't take out the executioner. That's really bad. Uh, because now we've got a pretty much full health golem on our tower. Uh, and towers aren't looking at the golem either. Okay, what we got to do here now is got to go with our ram rider. Because the executioner will be looking at that. We've got to snowball all this away. Perfect, and catch the bats as well, but Ramar is still not going to make it there somehow because of the Lumberjack blocking her, I guess. Um, we can go with uh, Eljack here, stop the bandit dash. Um, however, Executioner is going to take out my Inferno Dragon. Yeah, there you go. Like I thought he would. We can go with the bandit in the pocket here. Hopefully you can get onto the tower. She doesn't, but look, that's a really bad play because you can go Magic Archer. Magic Archer is going to snipe the tower. That will be game. Yeah, GG's. Never go Golem in front of your tower when you have Magic Archer in the opponent's deck. Anyway guys, I do hope, hope you'll see you in the stream. Um, uh, it'll be really great to see you there. The views have been kind of low recently, so please I'd appreciate it if you share the stream, even if you just popped on for a little bit, if you could. Thank you.